Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex. And in today's video, I'm going to answer the question, how do you create a portfolio of many trading accounts using FX Blue? So in this video, I'm going to show you why it's important to create portfolios. And then we're going to have a look at two examples of portfolios. And then I'm going to show you how you can create a portfolio. Portfolios will save you a tremendous amount of time as your trading progresses. So why do Forex traders use portfolios? Especially traders that use many accounts. So some might have three demo accounts and two live accounts. So when trading many trading accounts or EAs, portfolios can help you see the overall result in one place. Now this will become a lot clearer when we look at the examples. But rather than logging into five different accounts to see how they're going, you just log into your portfolio and you can see how your accounts are going from the portfolio. But the other thing about a portfolio is you can control it in one place, but you can also drill down into each of the individual accounts and even f into further details of those accounts using a portfolio. You can also very quickly see which accounts are active and are updating and the EAs are trading correctly. So you don't, again, you don't have to log into many accounts. You can see immediately what's going on. And it also makes it easy to share results with your friends, with colleagues. So let's have a look at two examples of portfolios. And I'm going to have a look at the Make Money portfolio, which contains six trading accounts. Then I'm going to have a look at our monitoring portfolio that contains over 50 accounts. So I am in our Forex Trading Setups forum, which you can join for free, but also has a paid element where we have monitoring accounts running at the moment. So if we go down to the monitoring accounts, and I'm going to use the Make Money as our first example. I'm going to click on that. It opens up and then what what you can see is that we are trading six accounts and each of these accounts are linked to FX Blue and then we have a summary of the monitoring accounts and that is essentially a portfolio so I'm going to click on that and then you can see the links to uh, the portfolio that consists of those six accounts and I'm going to click and I'm actually going to click on this one because I want to show you something else about portfolios. When you've got a portfolio behind the name what it will do is it will actually take you to a, a schedule like this and it will tell you when last the portfolio has been updated and is trading so you know that your platform is active and trading and it says five minutes ago four minutes ago a few seconds ago so uh, if you start seeing days or hours there then you know there's something wrong with your platform or with your internet connection or something like that so that's the one benefit of portfolios that you can immediately see if you're trading accounts are active. Now I'm going to go to the statement and there it gives you the results of the six accounts that we are trading. Now I can see the overall results are pretty good. There's a 44,000 profit there. We're trading at an 85% success rate here and it's been going for 75, 73 days. But this is the overall result. If we want to have a breakdown of that overall result we then click on portfolio constituents then we have the six accounts that make up this portfolio so you can see and you can what's nice is you can sort them in terms of profitability and you can see some one has doubled their account and so on but you, this is where you can now see the breakdown of your portfolio and if you want to go and have a look at that particular account you click on it it will take you to that account and you can see let's do that and then you can see the currencies that are possibly doing so we we go to symbols and you can see the currencies that are trading well and all of them are nicely positive at this stage so you can see the level of analysis that you can do uh, even though you're at portfolio level, you can drill down to account level and you can drill down to currency level. And if you are using different m magic numbers for each currency or setting or uh, time frame or something like that, you can even drill down by clicking on strategy, you can drill down to a magic number. I've used the same magic number for all six of these particular trading accounts because my main breakdown is into symbols which I already have. Okay so that gives you an example of a six account portfolio. 
Okay, so now let's go and have a look at a bigger portfolio and I'm just going to take you out of here. So we've looked at the make money uh, uh, portfolio. Now we have a portfolio that consists of all the accounts traded by all of our monitoring EAs and that one is yeah portfolio of all monitoring accounts so i'm going to click on that and you're going to see more or less the same thing so portfolio of monitoring accounts i'm going to click on that one because we've already seen that you can monitor the updating of your accounts and here you can see now we have over 50 accounts being traded in this particular portfolio the results are pretty good 50 uh, 62,000 positive only a negative of 41 so of the 400 EAs that we are trading in this portfolio uh, the average is positive also the average win rate is nice and high it's been trading for 76 days and it gives you all kinds of statistics about the actual portfolio you can actually click over here and see a lot of statistics about all kinds of aspects of this particular folder and and here we might see yeah, there are different magic numbers, so you can see which mag magic numbers are producing the best results and which aren't. You can also have a look at the symbols of all these 50 plus accounts and you can see which accounts, uh, uh, which currencies have are producing the best results in most of the EAs. So there's a lot of analysis stuff that you can do. You can click on the side here where my cursor is and then it will sort out all the accounts and you can see it initially sorts them in terms of the EA but if you want to see the best and the worst ones you just click there and you can see the level of profits that are being made by the various accounts and you can see the time of day is moving up very nicely and uh, so on so you can see that you can also go to the state and look at the portfolio again from a, a different perspective and there you can see the equity values and again you can see how well the make money is doing there but the time of day is moving up uh, quite nicely so you can do a lot of analysis work when you have a portfolio now I have gone into the portfolio details again and I am checking the updating and you can see everything is being updated quite nicely. But this page also shows you who is the owner of the portfolio. So this portfolio was created by the account Dream Machine Aggressive 4 Hour. So that is where the portfolio was created and I'm going to show you the process of creating portfolios in the next step so here are the instructions that fx blue gives to you on how to make portfolios firstly they firstly what you have to do is log into the account that you want to be the account that owns the portfolio and i'll show you that in the next example but that's what you do you log into that account so after logging into that account you then create the portfolio and what's nice is you don't need to you can actually add other people's accounts to that portfolio they know they don't have to be owned by you when i start creating the portfolio you'll see what i mean by that so after you've logged into the account you've created the portfolio you stay logged in because what you then do is you log into a, another for fx blue account you go to the results page and you click on the portfolio button and then you basically follow in the instructions shown here it, it'll be a lot clearer if i actually show you the process so i'm going to do that right now so i go to my fx blue live so you click click over there to get to the section i'm going to log into the one account that's doing pretty well and i'm going to log into it and there i'm in this is the link to that particular account. Now I want to create a portfolio. So I click on portfolio. It says, okay, what do you want to call this portfolio? So I'm going to just say YouTube example. All right. So that's what I'm going to call it. And uh, we could just call this uh, YouTube example is the, the, the title and the description's the same thing. YouTube example so we create the portfolio and it has now been created and it now only consists of the one account 
that particular one now so i'm going to add more accounts and in order to do that all i need to do is log into the account address that the next account consists of so to do that what i do is i'm going to go to the monitoring accounts again and i'm going to select i've done the first one i think and i'm going to select the second one this is the balanced portfolio so I, and I click on that one and you'll see that most of our pages have the link to the actual account so I'm going to click on that link and it opens this page which has the results of and this one's doing pretty well too so we click on portfolio and then it says it's already been added to the make money portfolio now let's add this to the youtube example portfolio so you add it to the youtube portfolio and we say okay now if you, there's the link to that portfolio now so i'm going to click on that link it takes us to the youtube example portfolio and there it is so now we can see this portfolio consists of two accounts the aggressive account and the balanced account it was updated four minutes ago and we can now add more accounts to this by just going as i've shown you finding the link clicking on it clicking on portfolio adding it to the portfolio and then coming back to this you see all the account details of the accounts you want to monitor so if you go to statement now this these results consist of two accounts if you look at the portfolio again there are the two accounts and you can see the results of each and you can drill down into each account so that's how you create your portfolios they are incredibly handy especially like as you've seen if you've got 50 accounts in uh, that you are monitoring you can immediately see if they're all current you can immediately see which ones are doing well which which ones are doing bad and you can drill down into any of those at any time so from me alex deploy cheerio